Hello, great Avon team. How is everyone today? I'm going to do two separate videos for you today. Um, my name is Denise Hatcher, in case you are new um, and um, somehow connected to me as part of my downline, or if um, you end up seeing this video because I have decided to share it on um, YouTube, then it will. I am probably not part of your upline, but I am happy to share a helpful tip that may help you somewhere along the way as you're building your business. Um, oh dear, sorry about that. All right, so um, what I wanted to share with you today involves the A box. Hello, whoever just popped on. Dolly, hey lady, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, so here is my thing. I put in the little memo, treat your A box like it's a cookie. Becky, yeah. Okay, I'm doing it, Becky. This one's for you. <laughs> um, so I put in that memo, treat your A box like it's a cookie. Um, and the reason why I say that is because well, I'm going to do a couple different things just to explain, but um, if you are a new representative or even if you're seasoned representative, I don't know why, but I just find that sometimes our information gets lost in the shuffle and sometimes we just don't realize what we really have our hands on and how we can utilize what Avon's giving us. Um, so some time ago, the um, A box rolled out as a new thing on the back of our books. And um, the idea behind this, I know there's Ipsy and I don't know, there's so these different boxes that you can, um, you know, order online for 10, 15, $20, whatever. Um, but, and it's a, you pay that a monthly fee and you get your box and you unbox your stuff. You get all excited because you're like, yeah, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but, I spent my $10, $20, hopefully it's something I like, and um, you know, sometimes you do and sometimes you don't get things you like. But the good thing about our A-Box is you get to know ahead of time exactly what you are getting. So even better, and it's not a membership, so you don't have to worry that you're gonna get started in buying an A-Box and then, well, next one I'm not really sure I wanna keep it or that sort of thing. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, you just look at the back of the book. If it's something that you go, oh, I can get excited about that, um, then great. As long as you have a $40 order, you can get your A box, right? Wrong. Oh my gosh, this is wrong. Why is it wrong? Let me tell you. So this is the reason why I'm doing this video. Um, it is because I want everyone to understand, whether you're on my team or not on my team, um, that you have got a cookie in your hand. So this is from campaign nine. Um, we are currently in 10, so this is last campaign. However, this A box could still be purchased this campaign if there are $40 worth of items um, that your customer is ordering from any of the campaign nine brochures. So they did change it. Um, if you have, and it could be something out of the small sales flyer, but as long as it's campaign nine, any of the campaign nine items, um, that total $40, you can get this A box for $10. So what's in this A box? I'm just gonna use this one as an illustration. You see me, I like not got a nice full stack of A boxes right here to, to show you. Um, but what is in this A box? is, I'm gonna let you see it on the page. So this would be what your customer's looking at, right? You can, usually Avon has them in the what's new flyer. Um, so you actually could order it ahead of time if you really wanted to promote it. Um, you could do it that way, have one so that people can see and touch and feel and smell and people like that. Um, if you're engaging your customers and you're seeing customers and actually getting to talk to them, if you are focused on your online sales um, and more solely running your business that route, um, then uh, Avon Social also has a lot of pictures with this type of thing talking about whatever the current A box is for the current campaign. So you can promote it that way as well. Um, but 
uh, you know, the main thing is you got to see what all these goodies are that you're getting. And it's a lot easier to promote something to your customer if you know what you have your hands on. So this is the A box from the campaign nine. And I'm going to show you so you can see um, this is the unboxing. <laughs> um, full size product of um, purifying clay mask. It has, as it has, uh, I don't know why that did that. So move, move, I don't know if I can get that off here. Oh, I don't know, I can't see anybody's comments because this thing is, let's see, how about that? Okay, now I can see. Hey, Teresa Day, I didn't see you in there. <laughs> now I see. Um, so here is this clay mask, full size, full size jar, um, and, this, if your customers really like this, it, I believe this is one of those things that is going away. However, it is on the front cover of the campaign 10 and 11 FaceTime um, brochure. So when you open the page, it has actually been marked down to $5.99. Okay, good tip, way to sell your A box. I'm just putting this out there. Um, so if it's another way to sell your A box. Um, when the product you know that's in here is something that's going to be going on sale, um, you can encourage your customer to give it a try, but whatever the sale price is, um, typically, well, that's $5.99 on sale, but you have all these other items in here um, that are going to make up for the difference, right? So the retail value of this A box is $43. So that's the retail. We're not talking our we're not talking the sale in the book or our cost. We are just talking the retail value is $43 because that um that mask in here is normally $16 regularly, okay? So know your facts. Have you could put a little sheet together if you wanted to or whatever, just pull your facts together, use a 3 by 5 card, whatever works for you. Um, but know your facts and um, know that they get a full size um, mask. There is a mini rich cleansing foam that is inside. This is um, one point flowing ounces. And that is going to probably last, depends on how much they use it, but it could last them at, for at least two weeks, um, possibly more. And there is also in here a mini um, hydrofusion cream gel cream and this is like the small two week trial period um, size and this has a little piece of tape on it so get it out of there very easily at least not that way maybe from the bottom Let's see if I can open it back like that uh, anyway while I'm trying to open this and not kill myself in the midst with the scissors <laughs> Well, that would be tragic, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so scissors are gonna have to cut that thing open. Anyway, so here we go. Um, in case you haven't seen it, I want you to be able to see it. So there's the little mini. Again, this will last at least two weeks, depending on how often the person uses it. Um, but it gives them a chance to try the product. You can look ahead. You can see in the book what's going to be on sale. A good follow-up to these things that are in the A-box is then to follow up with your customer, let your customer know, hey, I know you bought that A-box. I just wanted to check and see how you are liking the items that you got in there. Um, and they're on sale this campaign. So first of all, you're going to sell the A-box. Second of all, you're going to do a follow-up to that. Now that they've tried the products, what did they like the best in their A-box? Um, what did they like the least? I mean, you kind of give them the chance to just be open. And they may say, oh, I loved everything, which is what we hope they're going to say. <laughs> but, um, you know, give them a chance and let them know these items are on sale in the next brochure so that you can already start plotting and planning your sale for the next campaign. Okay, so that's one way to gain a sale going forward. Here's another way that you're going to use your A box as what I like to call a cookie. The reason why I call your A box a cookie, just so you know, if you've ever been to Subway and you get your food, you have them make all your sandwich and you get your stuff and you get to the end, you get your chips and you get your drink, 
the last thing that they say to you is, would you like a cookie with that? There stands the cookie staring you straight in the face and they smell so good and you're like, oh no, I think I'll pass. Are you sure? Because with everything you got, it's only 99 cents. Oh man, okay, fine. I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, actually it's $1.29 if you wanna get three, it's a dollar. They even tell you that, they're like, well, if you, and so you're going, okay, 99 cents for one, dollar twenty. Okay, sure, give me three. Let me pick out the three that I want, and you get your cookies when you're leaving Subway, and you eat them in the car, and go, mm, this is so good, I am loving this, but my hips ain't gonna like it later. Anyway, bottom line is, it's a cookie, right? So this is your cookie. Add this to your sale a couple of different ways. One, the traditional way, so your customer orders whatever she orders, and we say she's at $37. So she is $3 away from hitting her $40 sale to get this A box for $10. So additionally, you would say to that customer, Hey, Susan, um, you know, you're giving me your order. Well, and we have to be in a practice anyway of not just being an order taker. Sometimes I realize life is hectic, but I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been guilty of just being an order taker because my campaign snuck up on me. I didn't have a whole lot of time. I'm just taking orders quickly. Um, but when I actually go to place the order, if I'm if I can push myself and make sure I have a plan of action, which is really important if you really want to build your business, um, plan to contact people back. Because if I just was an order taker earlier in the week and I didn't have time to go over it with my customer and I noticed that she's $3 away, I'm probably going to want to call Susan back or Janie back or whoever and I'm going to say, hey, Susan, you are at $37. Your order just about qualifies for one of those A boxes on the back. And she's going to be like, oh, what A box? Well, if she doesn't have the book handy, she tossed it already, I will definitely take a picture, screenshot it, whatever, send it on over in a text so she can see it, send it in Messenger, whatever I gotta do, send it in an email, whatever it takes for her to be able to see it, so she can see what she would be getting for her $10. I let her know, $43 value, um, you get it for $10 with a um, with a, your $40 order. Um, so you're $3 short. Was there anything else you would like to add to your order? Maybe a lip balm. I can mention, I can look through my book and find some $3 things. Be prepared because if they're like, oh, I don't know, have some ideas handy because if you tell them, you know, um, you could get a lip balm, you could get a shower gel for $2.99 um, and their order is already at pennies over, that will be enough to push them. Um, to that level, then yeah, and you know, and you've got to know your customer. If your customer uses cucumber shower gel, then that's the magic ticket. And you want to go back and say, hey, Susie, you know what? The shower gel's um, your favorite one, cucumber melons, on sale for $2.99. That puts you at that um, $40 um, limit that you need qualify to get that A box. Would you like to get it? Hmm, let me think. She may have to think about it for a minute, and then she might go, no, get, yes, definitely, please, add me, get me that, will you? Um, or the conversation might go like this. Susie might go, you know what, I am really, I am just tapped out, Denise, I'm so sorry. I, I'd love to take advantage of it, but, you know, I just, I don't think I can this time. Okay, no problem, Susie, great. Um, it, or maybe she has the $40 order, and... She just doesn't want to buy the A-Box because she really doesn't want to spend the extra $10. So now I'm going to say to Susie, no, Susie, since you're not going to take it, are you okay with me going ahead and passing it to someone else since you're not going to take advantage? Now I just took the cookie away. Now Susie's going to be like, well, there you go. I just spent $40. And now she's going to give that to me. I don't know. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and I'll get it. Okay, go ahead and add it to my order. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Are you sure now? Because... I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to push you to do something you don't want to do. I just want to make sure I offer it to you because you're just that close. And so if Susie says yes, great. But if Susie says no, then it's a different story. Now I can say hello to Mr. Hatcher back there. <laughs> he just popped in for a few seconds. <laughs> I can't ever, I always try to do it in a room where I'm not going to have anybody behind me, but it never feels, it always happens. 
anyway, um, so uh, where I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, okay, so Susie won't decide she's not going to take it. We took the cookie away. Now um, I can go ahead, and this is where people miss, miss an opportunity for sure. Hey, Katrina, thanks for joining. Um, they miss the opportunity because uh, Susie spent $40, and I could call Gail and say, Gail, guess what? Um, I got good news. I know that you said you didn't have an order for me this time. However, I do know how much you love the new products. And guess what? I have a customer who's not going to get that A box on the back cover. Would you be interested in getting it? You don't have to spend $40. You get it for the $10 because somebody else already spent the $40. Would you like me to order that for you? Really? You would do that for me? Oh my gosh. Guess what? You're the best thing since sliced bread. Why? Because you did something that a lot of people won't do. Hey, Brian Moon. Hi. Um, so anyway, it's it's huge thing that we forget that we can take this and still offer it because your total order, if you had a $400 order, that means you could potentially at least get what six a boxes if if you wanted to so either you're offering them to your customer nobody's saying that you have to scoop up all of them yourself and buy them although it's not a horrible idea because if you buy them yourself because you are maybe into making baskets um Maybe you are adding um, to give your customers a little bit of excitement and say, um, I'm going to raffle off an A box. Or maybe you want to pull the products out individually and say, anybody who gives me an order of $25 or more, your name's going to go on a drawing and somebody's going to win, like in this particular A box that I just showed you, somebody's going to win this. A $16 value because that's our retail cost on it but somebody's gonna win this mask and you know you want to use it that way you can if you want to say somebody's gonna win the necklace there's a love necklace in here um, you can take it apart and use it that way so get creative but I feel like our a boxes are just like not getting the credit that's due to them because we aren't really utilizing, like we're just becoming order takers and we're not looking at our cookie on the back. And there's a lot of people who might love to have that, but we're passing on it because so-and-so had, or this person and this person. So one person has a $25 order, another person has a $20 order. Hey, that's 40 bucks, that's $45. That qualifies for an e-box. So the reason why you're getting the e-box isn't because each person has a $40 order. That's what I want to make sure I get through to everybody. Your total order qualifies every $40 increment that there is, qualifies you, the representative, to be able to order one of these A boxes. So if you're thinking outside the box, no pun intended, um, you would really behoove yourself to share this a box with your other customers and say somebody's not taking advantage would you like to take advantage of this a box um, because someone else doesn't want it and i would love to give it to you for the ten dollar price so yes technically you could sell it for more i mean you could sell it for fifteen dollars the value on it's 43 so you know you could make more money on it well, if these are A boxes that you choose to scoop up yourself, and let's say you're doing an event and they are A boxes passed um, and you want to put that price on them, you can. If You can if that's what you want to do. Um, but, uh, or even make them $12 or whatever. So it's an even amount if you're at a vendor table or whatever um, and you're trying to not have to fool with tax, you know, you figure out whatever your tax would be on the $10, and if you were to have included your shipping fee, which might be anywhere from $1 to $2, so, you know, easily you could make it a $15 A-box and, and be done with it. So, um, just trying to give you some ideas, get the wheels spinning, um, get that hamster moving, and, um, you know, just think, 
how much more if I had a goal of selling a certain amount of A boxes? Um, or here's one more thing, and then I'm going to let it go on the A boxes. But um, one more idea is if you um, take your, so you're doing your social media and you're posting everything and you're getting it out there so people can see it. You already know that you have a uh, $150 order. So out of a $150 order, you absolutely are guaranteed at least three A boxes out of a $150 order. So you have nobody who's taking it. it all your orders are not $40. They're, everybody's got different things, somebody a 30 and somebody a 25 and somebody else a 25. And you know, you got that many customers that is totaled $150, but nobody spent $40, but you qualify for three A boxes as the representative. You can go on your Facebook. This is so novel. You're going to go, why didn't I think of that? But I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. But I just want to make sure everybody knows about it. Um, you can take your three A boxes. You can take a pic, get the picture of whatever the A box is. Go on your Facebook, go on Instagram, share these three A boxes. I have three. This is all I got. One, two, three. Three A boxes for $10. No one has to spend any additional amount. Who's interested? The first three me's who drop a me in the comment section, it's yours. I will message you with the details. We'll work it out. Um, they are yours. Let me know. Please comment. Whatever. There you go. So post it, share it. Get those orders because now you just bumped your $150 sale up to a $180 sale. Woohoo! We like when we get bigger sales. So, anyway, that's what I had for the A boxes. But I just wanted to show you a couple of these other ones that are coming up. So, that way, in case you're just not totally excited yet, you might get a little more excited when you see what's coming up. Um, this A box is on the back cover of. Campaign 10. So we are currently selling in Campaign 10. Um, this is the A box that you can be promoting, and it has an, a new eye depuffing um, serum, full size product, very nice. I have used it, I've tried it, I love it. My husband uses it, but he likes it too. So, yeah, it's not just for women. Skin cares for men too. Brian Boone, are you still out there? Give me an amen, sir. Amen, amen. Men can use this too. Um, now, here's a, uh, what is this thing? This is a brow kit. So there is a brow kit in here. Um, this is kind of one of the latest and greatest things. I know um, DJ, if she gets on here and watches this, I'm going to use her notes throughout. There's a, she shared with us um, at our meeting how she had seen. I don't know, something either online or whatever it was. We were all talking about these brows and getting your brows in order, that how on trend Avon is to have this stuff right here in front of our customers because it's a wanted thing. So um, very cool. So we got a brow kit in here and and there is also of course then if you're gonna use your brow kit, you need what? A brow liner. So there is a dark brown. Glimmer stick, um, self sharpening. So your customer does not need to buy a pencil sharpener. That's a cool thing you can way to promote this A box. So this is a self sharpening um, brow pencil that they can use, but it is um, dark brown. Now, I mean, if you depending on the customer, you may say if you it depends on how you are stocking things or inventory, whatever. But a glimmer stick is only two ninety nine. If you want to order an additional glimmer stick that is in their color and give them the option, just another thought, you could say, I'll switch that for, if you usually use blonde or light brown, um, I'll, I can switch it for you, that's up to you. Um, and then, you know, later you can make that a giveaway or something, just, just a thought, just, you gotta think, think outside the box. But um, that's the current one for campaign 10. Um, there's not one for 11, none for 11, um, campaign 12 is, campaign 12 has this one, I don't know when they usually give them a name, great skin, easy as one, two, three, so this is campaign 12, 
So campaign 12 has this one, which has, again, there is a full size retinol. Um, this is the eye. I think this one's for the eye. Yep. Line. Anyways, this is an expensive product. This one values at $56. So there you go. $56 for this A box. Uh, that should get some of your customers very excited. There is a creamy cleanser, the ultimate creamy cleanser. Again, that would be at least a good couple of weeks, two or three. Um, and a mini size ultimate day cream. So I know when you see the box, it's hard to tell. I'll pull it out so you can see it real quick. Um, there we go. So it's not the big one, but the big thing in here is the um, a new clinical line, line eraser with retinol. Um, so there you go. There's a, there's a give you a, a little boost ahead of time. Um, then so you know what's coming in campaign 12. It's on the back of campaign 12. Um, so we catch a break in um, campaign 11. I think there are earrings. Still your cookie. Earrings on the back. Still your cookie. Um, just be sure that you promote that uh, whenever you're closing the sale. You want to let your customer know that, you know, they're closing out, they're giving you everything, and then you just want to just briefly, quickly mention, by the way, Pam, did you happen to see on the back cover those stunning earrings um, that are on the back cover? I'm just helping promote campaign when I'm not in there, but here they are. Um, I know I already have some so that I can show them to my customers. As soon as 11 rolls out, actually, while I'm delivering my 10 orders, I'm going to have these to show to my customers. I'm going to say, just so you know, these are going to be on the back cover. If you, um, you know, you don't have to have a qualifying order, any size order, but you can get these for $5.99. They're regularly $19.99. So it's more, it's 70% savings. It says right there. So anyway, that's what I have for you on the A box. So I hope that helps you sell those A boxes um, and just know that um, it's, it's a really huge thing and you have an opportunity in your hand. So if you can take a $150 sale to a $180 sale, or what if those people who are really close to the $40 up their sale just because now you've mentioned it and they're like, hmm. And you started to take it away, and they're like, oh, I'm like $3. Oh, shoot, shoot, yes, please, go ahead. Just give me a, get me the shower gel. Make me have $40 and give me that A-box. That sounds good to me. Um, you know, so, so I could even go potentially not just a $180 sale, but I could possibly hit $200 sale because people will add to their order because they realize, you know, I'm going to miss out on that A-box. Yeah, let me, let me get one of those. Um, so definitely use your A boxes. Remember the cookie. If you can't remember anything else, we all like to eat and we all like cookies. Well, at least most of us anyway. Really shows here. <laughs> I need to quit eating, quit eating cookies. But anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. Um, if you, you know, enjoy the video, like it, love it, whatever, pass it along. I will put it in YouTube so that it can be filtered into other groups but thanks for joining me and i will be doing my friday focus for my team in just a bit bye guys